playing, you know, with this PL, if it goes on, if OG can keep the game going, then it can sort of go the same way that we saw, you know, the games with sort of the, the, the huge late game carries, like the Medusa, the Anti-Mage, that, that OG were able to find the victories in. Is it going to be the same this time, or are there factors of Na'Vi's draft that OG have to be severely worried about? I'm checking one thing quickly first, because I've been seeing a lot of success from Na'Vi having this Death Prophet. Prepare they have only played it two times in the last month, but they've won both of the games. However, I do like what the panel was mentioning, is OG's lineup, yep. if the game gets to a certain point, they go. they're go. they in a great spot. However, I think Na'Vi can snowball with the Death Prophet if they can protect him and make all that happen, but they don't have great ways of starting the fight, like they mentioned as well. But Night Stalker and Doom just have to kind of run in for the Death Prophet. They have to be these tanky cores and frontliners for her with the with the Life Stealer. I think that OG though they have that plan to take the game to the late game, and I like how they built these two, their two cores. It's really hard to get Dooms off on Phantom Lancer and Nail Lancer. Well, Lancer you don't really want a Doom, but Phantom Lancer very elusive. But Brewmaster is going to be the big target for that Doom. So Navi, they do have potential to get those kind of like big team fights. They have a lot of different silences. They can do like Winter's Curse, they can do Death Prophet Silence, Night Stalker Silences, a lot of ways to prevent the Brewmaster from getting OG. So we're gonna have to see how OG takes this one. They have to be able to come out into the later stages of the game because early game, they are a bit suffering versus not. And we'll see uh, the lane matchups as well. I mean, at the moment, Notel is, is on his own up top, bottom. S4's got his eyes on to crystallize. Gets his skill. He's trying to force the rage. Skill the rage and, yeah, he has put point into it. Doesn't have to use it and doesn't have to reveal the fact that the he does so. Begins. But uh, he is out of there. Up top's an acre. And you know, yeah, a bit of harassment onto Notel's bear. A lot of percent damage coming out. Between that Wyvern and Doom in the later stages, the Infernal Blade and the Arctic Burn. But yeah, I do like what OG's got going for them here. As long as they can not, not get punished too hard by this Night Stalker in the early night times. We'll probably be seeing like this uh, this new build that I was that S4 has kind of been talking to me about after the Flint Dagger going for the Aeon disc in this game to deal with those silences. Roger. Jerry's gonna be a 2v2 in the mid lane, 2v2 in each other's safe lanes. Down bottom, four. Gonna be on his own for the moment. Taking quite the harassment for Seneca. Up top, right. Doing his best to try and zone back general, give the space for no tell. Get the easy ZS. We don't have much kill lanes coming out here from either side. It's pretty much just if a rotation comes out and catches someone off guard, then they, they can go for the kills. But as the lanes stand right now, nobody on either team should really die. Jarex, I like what he did here. Blocked the medium camp, warded the hard camp. General has been big to eat. Again, as you say, damage being done. I see test to find the kills unless someone massively overstepped in these lanes. So there's overall a lack of sort of hard lock down between the two lineups. Right here. The results come out. Getting chased out here. Get the roll forward and the slow for Jarex. Roll for that. Good, get this. Rolls off the mark though. Oh, no. Now Jarek. Oh no, Jarek! Oh. oh, he done fluffed First, up. Uh, First piece. Oh. Painful, nice high painful step. misplay, and yeah, indeed, just Roger making it as hard as he can for Jarek to connect that. General had to literally just eat a regular creep in the lane. They blocked, they body blocked one hard camp, they warded the other one and blocked the other one as well. That was very good preparation coming up from OG. Denied. And S4 is doing great in this off lane. Six and one at level three already when he's playing versus a dual lane. He's messing, messing with crystallize a bit. Rezo mid, then he has a DD rune. Take massive advantage of this laning phase because of that. Now, Rezo is still finally all right up against this DP for the most part though. But there's not really too much of a difference between the two. Roger, it does get the D ward that uh, Jarex had placed earlier, so there is going to be that hard camp available for General now. The biggest sort of, uh, of win in, in terms of lanes so far in the definitely seems to be the, the top lane for OG. You, you look yes. at the CS there, 14 for 13 against the 1 for 1. They're doing a great job of securing Notel farm and making sure that General can't get a look in at all. This is, in my opinion, one of Notel's best heroes. Yeah. Whenever he's playing these micro heroes, he always seems to stand out. Yeah. Yeah. Fly. Trying to get in. He he oh run. no! Oh no, Rezo! The RNG has played him and it will cost him his life! 
I think well, out of all the illusions, was that he the only one to go on the low ground? He was the only one to get dropped. On. Oh, and Dendi gets an easy kill because of that. That is very costly. Now Roger. In the mid lane. Dendi's death profit has been, like I said, he has 100% win rate in the two games, and they tend to really make the game all about Dendi's death profit when he plays it. They stack up a lot of jungle camps for him, just to enable him to have an excellent game. And with the save, like Sinego, it can be pretty nice. The Wizard Wyvern always likes seeing death profit, having at least one saving hero for himself. No tail. Going for the bounty rune versus general. He's got Savage Roar. He's gonna fear him away. Take the bounty. OG will claim two. Alright, three of those bounty runes. Regen rune top for Dendi. With that double uh, double null, the CSing in the mid lane will be even easier. Uh, and yep. more of a chance of getting those denied. General top, level five bear now. He has to start being very careful. Going to this lane. Uh, this lane is actually an absolute disaster. Yeah. I don't know how you can do it. It's so hard. Mid lane. Dendi moving in. Rezo and Fly getting very, very low. Roger coming in with a sweet round, but Jarex is there. Should be enough to hold the two back. Roger gets to the board out of Fly. Pat flies forward and takes down Fly. Fly will be the kill. Roger goes with a quick TP out. Is that man going to make it? No, he's not. Damage is there from OG. Rezo will be able to get the return fire kill. Top lane though, look at it, as we're saying, Kenno, he's just been turned all the way back he out of the lane. He can't, yeah. he can't go to this lane on his own. He's gonna have an incredibly early mic for no kill. Yeah. And, I mean, has four, almost level six already on the Brewmaster versus the Lifestealer. His last hits are really solid too, 17 and three. Bottle now picked up. He's able to sustain in this lane quite nicely until Night Stalker makes a rotation down. So a lot of the pressure is on Roger for this lane phase. Although Navi is still about 1k gold event because of how well Navi uh, Dendi is doing in the mid lane. Ooh, down towards the bottom of the middle. And Seneco, as they're trying with the chase down. Seneco will be able to flap his way back to safety with the Arctic burn over the cliffs. Towards level 6. He's actually starting to bully Crystal as a bit. He's having a really nice time down there. 26 last hits to the 35 of the laundry. So you can see that the, the impact of that is what he's having fly. Looking for get a glimpse here on Sinego. I think he'll get us onto the high ground though. And now we see Roger is really trying to get this very nice. Top last micro from OG. We'll keep it alive though. The ward down. He's still hunting for it. It's not ways to get it now. Could try and get it for this little guy. What? Oh, he does! He gets it! He gets it! Through that little passing there on the side. Oh, that looked like what? he shouldn't get away with that at all. And I think OG, they ex they did not expect that. They just sent it straight down the top. They didn't think he'd come a hunting. With that ward down and Wow, Roger. What a curious night. In a situation that looks to be impossible mid lane. Dandy, he gets Dems back. This is going to be the primal split from S4. They look to control and cold embrace. Keeping Dendi alive for now, but he's also bought time for Resolution to close the gap. They've surrounded Dendi, OG. They'll bring him down for sure. Siphon's not enough to keep that man alive and fly. Also surviving gets away. Great aggressive play with the first panda split. They find a mid laner. Absolutely. All because of how well S4's lane has gone. But yeah, losing that courier, that means the Midas won't be delivered at such an early point for Notel Jarax now, being chased by Roger. Oh. Kicks him away, rolls out. Radiance Middle Tower. I mean, I say that he can't. I said he couldn't do something before, and he's, he's proving me wrong. Roger's been very precision with his plays, oh and you know God, what? He's, he's only going to go and do it. Roger, ladies and gentlemen. He's stepping it up. He really is. In lane, and now let's roll Reza. He has the silence. They're closing the gap, and Roger, I tell you what, he's really doing it. He absolutely is. Double kill for Roger. And a massive kill as well. Surely he's not getting out. Now this is the end to Roger's glory. I... Can he escape? Will he deny himself? Oh, no way. Roger. Oh, oh he doesn't. Fly gets the kill. The dragon backswing. Too much. Yeah, Thunderstrike from Fly will seal the deal. But still, though, massive impact from Roger with those movements around mid. A bit of an issue for resolution. That's a solid first four minutes. Yeah. yeah. First night time for Roger. He should be very happy with himself. That co I cannot believe he got that career side. That was the biggest one for me. Roger. What a, what a, what a man. What a series of events. And five to three.
Navi getting the kills. Farm still looking good though for OG overall up top. Sneko trying to finish Spotlight. off the bear. Got the Savage Roar to push Jen all away, but it closed back in with the net. And then get that money. The bear's finished speed with the bear. We'll be out there in that mid lane. But her fatigue is in because Mochi got a bit of grass. Good Rogers trying to chase down Jarek. We've got the siphon onto Rezo. Rezo falling very low. We'll be fine. He's able to break the distance. Navi really keeping a lot of focus on this, this mid lane, make sure the Dendi's safe and Dendi's able to the potential to nearly turn around some of these engagements and Rezo Radiant's falling very low each and every time. He has to be careful on this PA here and he's fallen behind a little bit. So Noto did send the bear back to base to grab that Midas. So he does have it finished up at a very nice timing for that. But no, nope, Dendi's still ahead of him. That kill that he could, could get early on. And now Dendi will start to do the jungle. I was mentioning, you know, they, they really like prioritizing having Dendi go to the jungle around like level seven on most of his heroes, and then giving the supports the lane so they can catch back up. Roger needs levels. Although he's had such great rotations, he's still only level four at nine minutes. How's Crystal Vice doing? On the way toward the armor. Right? So he's, he's doing pretty nice. He doesn't have that natural delivery system that we usually do see for the life stealer picks. Big standout though is definitely no tail in S4, Radiant how spectacular they've done uh, throughout the laning phase. Ten minutes coming around. And Tom's being eaten up so people get their level sixes. Jarex is very low level two though, it's on the air spirit. Only level three. So supports. Pretty low level this game, but on the other side, the cores are doing very nicely on both sides. Get this moving, ready to do something around no tail. He's had such an easy lane up top, but this rotation can cause issues between these drop downs. They're ready with the chase down, ghost out as well. No tail, no way he gets out of that one. Big rotation from Navi, they take the kill. They'll look for an objective as well. Those ghosts up as they move towards the tier one top. Mid lane Rezo and Jerax tried to go for the nice number two. Jerax is just off the mark with the bullet from Rezo. They're gonna be able to threaten the tower though with this DD Phantom Lancer though while atop the Exorcism goes to work on that tower. Very nice moving coming out from Navi. So S4 is S4 back, but S4, 10 minute off lane blink dagger. He got no help. That was a solo blue map. He's done this a couple of times today, they did with the puck game as well, getting a very good blink dagger timing. And, uh, if anything, yeah, this one even more impre impressive doing it on a brilliant situation. Zaya's top tower has fallen. Mid tower, they're trying to secure it. No tail rotates in. Oh, Crystallized. She's here with that arm left. Not really the, the best of heroes to sort of traverse him around and look for the ganks on uh, Marvel's line. Not really with that blink initiation. And that blink initiation as for was in on top of Crystal. Crystal has queued up a Maelstrom afterwards too, to deal with those P the PL. We've seen pretty much exclusively Life Stealers go for the Armlet Desolator build so they can take out towers. But I guess this time, since he has Death Prophet, he's prioritizing being, being that fighter. Roger. Moving on to Jarek's pilot. Damage for Crystallize. Jarex is gone. So he'd be coming in from fly. He's just set up for something in return. He does have to be a little careful himself. First of all, comes in with the blink. Has the promise split available. Quick infested the creep as they look to get out of there. Crystallize is going to be fine. Roger, a little less so, unless the TP is as well. Roger. Next minute, you see him. Next minute, you're done. He's out of there. Roger's having so much impact across the map. He needs to. And they're playing versus this type of lineup versus a lone druid PL. They can't really slow down the pace. He's ending up beating on the mid tower. This creep is still running around. Crystallize is still infested inside of it. Moving toward the mid lane. Getting a serious amount of damage since that tier one top. And she's saying mid lane. For the focus here comes that creep as you mentioned. He's got Crystallize in. And he goes, jumps the out, he's got this two-man silence for Dendi to set up for Fly, Fly down, Jarek trying to roll away, but Roger, there with the body block, they'll get themselves a second. RB, keeping up the aggression. 
Level 6 is on both of the supports already on, on the side of Navi while you look at on the side of OG. Radiance level 5 on Fly and only level 4 on Jerex and they've already used the Tome. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's structures are fortified. 2 gold leader for Navi, 9 Radiance for 3. Dendi and the Death Prophet. The Midas is well coming out toward General on that Doom, so they're trying to just keep that economy game team going, at least on the Doom while oh. pressuring with the other Dyer's two heroes. And he is absolutely making the recovery. Gone. We saw how hard of a time he's having in lane. He's now, bam, Radiance few hundred gold behind, uh, be behind S4's Brew. And S4 had a great General playing it very nicely. They're going into the Roche pit. This is Seiko having the 2-0-3 build, having none in Splinter Blast. I don't think OG know this is going on. They've, they've got no intention of heading over by the looks of it. And even if they did... It's only a level 1 entry system, so it's not being brought down in that very quick pace that you see. It does seem like they might be able to get it here. OG, though. Maybe they do know it's coming. They're smoked up. They don't have all these other supports, though. They have to try and split. Jarex is looking for some sort of a setup for his default. He's going to get the start on to Dendi. Dendi, for Dendi. he's got the Yule Scepter. Mice time to keep himself alive. The Exorcism heal coming in as long with the recorded embrace. Dendi back up to full health. The prowess for Press 4. They're trying to contest his Roche. Roche is still alive for now. Can they actually get it? Resolution. He's been doomed. The crystallized go through. The Raider get the kill, but Rezo snatches the Aegis. And that is huge. He was doomed up, but he's going to be back for round two. Is it enough to turn the tide though against Navi? Because Dendi moving in with a Siphon has to slow onto S4. S4 gets crushed by Roger. Double kill for the Night Stalker. Dendi's got the Yule set up as he looks towards Rezo. Rezo, one more jump up to the high ground, but Roger's there ready and waiting. Has the Silence, has the Void. He needs more though to hold back this TP, and it's not going to be there. Rezo will get out. But overall, Navi, they get the big kills. They do get Roshan, sure, Rezo is able to snatch the Aegis, but it's still a good fight for Na'Vi. Those ghosts came in at the perfect time. The that Yule Scepter, he gets healed up Radiant all the way to full. The Cold Embrace from Seneko, such nice teamwork coming Let's out for Na'Vi here. If the level 6s were on OG on the supports, this fight would have been a disaster for Na'Vi. But the fact that they're so underleveled here, the curse comes out, holds back to the supports, and then it's just S4 trying to take out Dendi there. And we've seen the back, the courier was sniped as well from Roger. But Rezo gets doomed up. Still able to claim the Aegis, though, and survive throughout all that. And that's the pretty impressive thing for OG. But still, Navi looking really solid in this early game. OG makes, needs some more time. They need this Lone Druid to have time to get that Radiance online. Level 6 level now attained onto Fly, but Jarak still level 5 now at the 16 minute mark under his signature. Oh, look at this lead the Navi are getting. They are playing this phenomenally. Now, ooh, Jarek, he's rolled into this one, and he has got back up. s there as well with the jump in. They'll look towards General. The crippling fear on S4 making him miss a lot of these hits. Doesn't matter, though. They've got the magical to take down General. So he can catch Roger as well. Roger already on the retreat down. Bottom, Navi. They catch no tail. The bigger kill. Sure, OG, they get the grab back onto Roger. He'll try for the TP out. He will not make it. So OG, they do get two, but they're losing no tail. So Navi, they are fine with this trade. As long as they can keep tabs on no tail, keep the bear behind, Navi are happy with the flow of the game. Yeah, I think he bought, he had bought his role. So he doesn't lose a crazy amount of gold, but still big event. Big up situation there for Navi, because they can turn this into a tower push with the level Dyer's two exercises. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. This is insane, because of course, on the team general ready to join in as well. Crystallize is queued up at this one next. So he looks like he also wanted to be able to just push out lanes with this mouse. Because it's only with the ND to be that lane pusher on their team. Come across and try and put a stop to this push, maybe. Jarex on the sidelines. Looking for some sort of a jump. It's so hard, though, to take this fight. They have to go with General. Walks and he gets the Doom straight off onto Jarex. Pushing and he has for it. Jarex doesn't get to do a single thing. The curse is there. On to Fly. Fly being down by his own teammate. As OG, they have to back up. Savage Raw's there. Trying to hold back Na'Vi. General gets the Zone of the Bear. The Siphon's there as well. As they're doing their best to chase it down. They won't get the Bear, but they will get the space to do more damage to this Tier 2. And they should be able to finish it. Indeed, they do. Na'Vi claim another tower. Roger, now with Solar Crest complete as well. Na'Vi's teamwork is off the charts. Yeah, they are they're definitely up. They're, they're warding, the way they collapse with their vision, and just their struggle in the fight has been phenomenal. And OG just really suffering. We talked a lot about how Disruptor, when you're playing this hero and you're a, a deficit and you're getting ran at, it's very hard because ideally you want to be able to get those glimpse plays off, but you can't when you're just being ran at like this. Jerex, level 5.
alive still. He's still unable to find that magnetizer. Really be careful how far he comes down his mid lane. Because Roger will go in on him if he's not, not too careful. As you say, Notel desperately needs that Radiance. He's got to have it complete soon. If he wishes to keep up with the farm speed that both Crystallize and Dendi are producing. Dendi on the Death Prophet making just fantastic key Dyer's rotations. Getting these objectives. And, uh, actually going for the BKB still. He's pretty much got the BKB done. And bottom no tell. Trying to finish off this task. Quick Savage Raw will get in the space to do so. And that will be the Radiance complete for the bear. They can start to play a little bit around him. But they're still on the massive road to recovery. They have a lot more time before they can really take these engagements versus Navi. Manta style almost going to be finished up for Rezo. Still very hard for them to take these fights into exorcism. I don't I don't really see them taking fights into exorcism. You have the stars well. here, Jarex. This one's crystallized, crystallized still with a chance to rage afterwards though. Turn straight towards Jarex, who tried for the TP out, won't make it. Void's there from Roger. Oh, surely? Oh, is he gonna live, Jarex? Okay, they just sort of leaving because Crystallize has to get out of there. And now Crystallize, he's in trouble. There'll be a cold embrace, but the static storm's down. So we're out of Crystallize. Winter's curse comes through, but Crystallize, he's already gone. The Brulings get him. And now the rest of Na'Vi just having to back away. Dyer's top tower is under Should be fine now, as this will. Will blink out. No tell as well back in off as soon as he sees Dendi come through. And he wheels up the bear, but Dendi still makes sure the bear gets out of there. That's, out. that's significant kill. That was quite a... Derek survived somehow. I can't believe they didn't hit him. In he wasn't... Uh, so life still was infested and he wanted he didn't to wait want to for... Jump out? He wanted to wait for his rage to okay. come back up because he was afraid. But Fair he enough. ends up paying with his life anyway. Jarex lives. I mean, that, yeah, that looked like Jarex was a sure, yeah. sure dead end, but he gets out of there. Navi let him be. Still 7k gold advantage for Navi. It's pretty ridiculous how farmed Roger is, too, with that solar press now finished up, going for Halberd for the bear. Dendi, too. Arcane Rune, BKB Yules. Exorcism at the ready. So Navi, they should look to take a fight here. While well, they know the Panda Split is down, this is their window to make aggressive plays come out. Also nighttime for the next three and a half minutes. How's Rezo doing after that? He's got the man to finish. Now we have with their ultimate. Roger, eyes on to fly. Now he's not even having to use their exorcism for this tier two. There's no glyph available. They might actually just try to threaten the high ground with the exorcism arcane run here. OG's not ready to fight, there's still no split for another 20 seconds. He's coming back, he's got the blast complete, then the yet to pop the exorcism, but you know he's thinking about it. And here we go, the ghost around, Na'Vi. Ready to try and take the tier 3 and more on this mid lane, can OG stop it? Quick stab, over the bear's dead. The solar press makes the bear die so quickly with that exorcism. They've got the Prana split back on. And there's the jump. And oh, he's oh, looking for Dendi. Dendi already pulling low. In fact, Dendi, he's going to be kept alive by the corner embrace. Static storms down. Making sure that the Doom can't get his ultimate off. But with the BKB and the self heals from Dendi, buying time to get himself out of there, and he'll be fine for now. Winter's Curse only onto an illusion. As Suneko desperately tries to hold back OG as they look to chase down Navi's members. S4 has the micro, has the control. Burst down the Wyvern, jump out from Crystallize. Silence for the crippling fear of Roger. Will be enough to take down S4. Now OG, they're running back to base. Roger flies up to the high ground. He looks towards Fly, but Reza jumps forward with the Spirit Lance. Turns towards Roger. Roger gets the kill. He's trying to get himself out of there. Is it enough for the Solar Crest evasion? He may just make it. No. The Spirit Lance comes in. Reza will be able to claim the life of Roger. So Navi... Poking maybe a little too much there as OG will get a couple of kills. Sure, it does cost them a couple of lives themselves. But they do hold the base, they do keep that tier 3 alive, and they do make sure that the exorcism push is unsuccessful. The first game in 188 games of Jarax that he failed to hit level 7 before 20 minutes. Yeah, he's really been having a tough time here versus Navi this time. Just go around. He's got to keep it cool. A game where it matters the most. Arguably yeah. one of the biggest games that OG has been in a, in a long time. So much rest on this game for OG. They need more time. They can't be... They, they still are really struggling to fight versus Navi at this moment. Top. There's a no tell. Ready to chase down Danny. They know that his BKB is still unavailable for a little bit. General gets the Doom. Down indeed. General gets the Doom on the right target. Resolution, he's trying to run quick silence from Jarex. He's going to miss the boulder smash though. So Dendi, he can still continue to close this gap. Resolution, he can't get out of this. Dendi gets the kill, Rezo is down. Jarek's having to retreat. 
General in the midst of all those illusions finds the right target yeah. instantly with the Beautiful play for General. And if Jarex had hit that smash, Rezo may have survived. Jarex now in trouble himself. Quick glimpse from Fly to peel the Night Stalker night off him. That was a fresh pickup of General going back to now War Stop is a lot faster because of the animation changes that have happened in the recent patch. Here we go, another tower for Na'Vi. 10k gold lead, 23 minutes in. They are playing the pressure and the speed that they needed to with the draft that they had. Yeah. Now with the blink on Doom as well, they have that infest bomb. Roger getting closer and closer to that halberd. He is extremely tanky. Soneko might pay with his life up here. The curse comes out. The TP. Oh, Soneko. And he's gone. He's off. He's out. Desto now complete for, for Life Stealer. Uh, a bit of a. What's it? Was no tell as well with his good. Actually picks up the Blade Mail at this stage for the bear. Just wants some armor to win it. Reflect some of the damage because they're focusing so much. Very good versus Death Prophet as well. The Exorcism. Good OG. So we said if they can keep this game going, they are going to be in sort of greener pastures, but at the moment, it's, it's just looking like Na'Vi are not letting that happen. But the speed and the pressure that they put on Stuart Shaw, Na'Vi are still yet to break the base, yep. but they've come very, very close to it each and every time, and Dendi's still absolutely massive on this Death Prophet, top of the net worth. Yeah, Dendi's huge. General went for the Midas, so that he's getting he's getting pretty massive. Roger as well. He has 7,600 net worth. When you look at the supports on Uchi, they have nowhere near that. The phone to clap one to two. Immediately stun onto Dendi. Will disable the Night Stalker, giving the space for OG to find the kill onto Suneko. They'll chase down Dendi. Another stun. Dendi's getting low. He's had to pop the BKB. Goes for the TP out. Will make it. But Roger's not going to be as fortunate. Four heroes of OG surround the Night Stalker, claiming Roger's life as well for sure. He's not going to get away. Two down. OG getting the kills. And an S4 again. He's been making this place time and time again. These blink initiations there. Forcing both Seneco and Dendi to scatter and just tearing them away from any sort of chance of pulling together a team by themselves and turning back on OG. That's what he was putting the team on his back here mostly, but Jarex with a clean initiation. The stun actually catches Dendi here on the left side too, you see. And then that's where able to get that follow up. Look at this disabled, just oh. holding both of them in place. And no choice but to run. And eventually we see Denny having to pop the BKB as well. Does save his life, but that is a BKB charge down. He kills the OG. Roche is ready. Dendi, just shy of the level 18. Oh, it's a DD win as well outside of it. And they want to go. The fusal play picked up for resolution. Can OG get to his pit in time? It's going to be quite some speed that him out. I don't know if they can contest with that one, but it's really tough. And it was that speed and dive. Exorcism is expended though, so maybe right when they have split up, OG can try to look for some pickups here away from that Aegis and Cheese. Super difficult for them. Navi looking it so crisp in this game. Daytime for a minute and a half. Probably when they've got exorcism at nighttime, that'll be the next time they try to go for any type of pressure. Maybe go for a smoke play after that. General as well as optimization, closing in on the Shiva's guard. We can have that extra sort of chase and very good against the PL. Yeah, it help, really helps you find the uh, actual PL, and it's just good versus both Ooh. the Lone Druid and Phantom Lancer because it's that uh, a minus attack speed will really help them. And talking about Use the Lone Druid, I don't know if we'll follow through, but I like the itemization with Notary. He's got the Aghanims queued up. I think he knows that if he can split push, you know, Na'Vi, they are they need to go for the five-man push. It's very hard for them to deal with any sort of split push pressure. So an Aghanims Lone Druid bear, that could do one. Oh, they've got a war on the high ground here. Jump forward, Suneko, no chance to react. It's the Stardust with Jarek, Suneko's down. Now, oh, she crystallized. He's trying to fight this. He has... But the agent's gonna come into mid of it all. There's been buyback from Zaneko. Navi, do you wanna try and turn this fight? They get the silence. Onto the crew. S4 does it the primal split if he gets the chance to do so. Great smash from Jerex. Holds back Navi. Get the Yule set up. Onto S4. S4, can he get the old anti time? No, he can't. Gets shredded by Crystallizer. And they've managed to get the target again. General. Each and every time. Finding the real Rezo. Bringing him down. They've got the control on the bear. They're gonna look to beat down on the Lone Druid's bear as well. And with the chase. They may just get this one as well. Three kills for Na'Vi. 
Estineko comes in with the buyback, and what a time to do so. Knows the Na'Vi have to, and they absolutely can take these fights at these stages, a full 5v5. And they've done it here. They get the three kills. No tail still alive. Picks up the point booster. He is indeed committing for the Ags. He knows he's got to push out as many lanes as he can as possible Radiant's to alleviate the pressure that Na'Vi are applying as a group, as a unit. Radiant's top tower is Exorcism fall. level 18 has already here. They start to split up. Boy, they have indeed. Still 15 seconds, no Reza. No tail. He's keeping the split pressure on us here at the moment on the top lane. Fine. The blade mail from the Mayor. They are actually finishing them off. I don't think Sineko expected that blade mail. And that actually forces Navi to get back. They're a bit threatened by all this, by the response from OG. Is there any glimpse catches by nowhere near in range? Get anybody. Reza jumps down. He tries to. Chris Lies is already out with the TP. But that is half health for the tower. We know Lone Druids, they have this ratting potential. Honestly, like, if, if No Tail continues to play as he is, this sort of split could be the end of Na'Vi in this game. Even though OG are so far behind, it is the classic way to come back when you can't take a team fight. Just go for the rap play. Cindy yep. almost has Octane finished up. Pick up for him. Roger as well is going for one, and then S4 having the BKB will probably be one of the bigger item picks up, pickups for OG in the next several minutes. But Rezo really struggling in this game as the Phantom Lancer. Four and four. Catching decently up in the last hits, but he just keeps getting found out here by Jack. The charge. Oh, they're gonna fly fly. Fly down for 30. Rezo. Should be fine. Navi's just Navi's actually just relentless in this game. Oh. Uh, yeah. Just I'm not there for 50 seconds. He's gonna pick off and beat his push. They know that the glyph isn't going to be one of the of that. Two minutes more of night time. Sustained charge and he's getting Go. shoved in pretty heavily. No tail. Down the S4 up the top. Scan actually find somebody down here. Oh, Rezo. He may not be prepared for this one. He's going to pop the doppelganger. Roger, can he find the target? Well, he actually may be in trouble himself. Rezo turns with the defusal blade. Roger falling over this. Jump in. They clear out the illusions. They found Rezo. Rezo is gone. Na'Vi. That's Scan. They were. They saw the illusions in the bottom side pushing out, but that's taking catch exactly on top of him. Now it's 40 seconds. Rezo. Navi's trying to force a buyback. Radiant's Five seconds till that exorcism. Radiant's force out the fortification. The bear down bottom. Pushing in. Here we go with the ghost out. They should get these melee racks. No trouble at all in the mid lane. Dendi. Can they make any sort of jump on him whilst the ghost are up? It would be hard to do so. They have to respect the power. They have to let it go. That's going to be the melee racks down. They'll beat down the bear as well. It's falling low. It's going to be 300 easy gold for Dendi in the lab. As now they go up to top lane. Navi. Looking for more than just one Rax. Trying to bully OG into submission here. As OG stands with their backs against the wall. All hopes and dreams on this game for them. They need the win to make it to a major. And Na'Vi doing a fantastic job and making sure that that's not going to happen there. The 15k gold lead there are Rax up. It's looking extremely grim for OG. And Na'Vi already has the itemization that even if the game goes to later and later stages, I don't even think OG can take it because of this Mjolnir on Lifestealer and just how massive they are. Dendi's going to have Octarine finished now too. And they've got the tools to deal with that split push too. You see General building that Shadow Blade now on top as well. He's going to be able to find whenever that bear is going for the split push. Well on Dendi. I mean, you said it at the start. You sort of looked at you know, you know that the times we've seen Dendi play this hero, he's, he's played it masterfully, and this game is is no exception. Seven, one, and seven. And he's part of 14 kills. Roger as well. Seven, at five, and ten. Got a couple deaths to his name, but the pressure that he's been applying with this nice stalker has been spectacular. The movement from Navi has been just all around excellent. Denny. A nice tucker now too. The vision game is going to go 
massively in favor of Navi, and you see Rezo fifth on the net worth as a Phantom Lancer. Definitely they need him to be much higher in these types of instances. Gem now this game for Rezo this today. It's not big enough to deal with the heroes of Navi by any means right now. Kinetic field then he was at the BKP though. They're trying to poke, maybe hoping to get a charge out of him. Radiant blink from S4 as General comes in. The blink stop. S4 is able to get out just in time. Chased a little bit. Back up. Or should be A okay. OG needs a lot more time in this game. They still need several more items on Rezo. Any of these kind of fights. It's closing in on the Lincolns. Just that. Oh, the the doom. Go. I mean, well, you, you've got to give hats off to General. We've seen him multiple times dooming the PL, a task that is not easy. Yeah. And with the Shiva, you can always pretty much find that real one. They've already got a lot of different ways to break that Lincoln Sphere, though, when it is out. They have got the Halberd, they've got all of Night Stalker spells as well. Regeneration. Just trying to be as annoying as possible. Needs to cut the creep waves. Needs to go on this game for OG to have a chance. How's the arms looking on the hotel after the axe? Has he got the. He hasn't really bought too much else. He had a Hyperstone on the bear. Four. Die. And Crystallize infested. Crystallize almost with a full AC finished up on top of the wheel there. And he's starting to get those big talents up. Level 20, the 20% evasion. Be very nice to the Phantom Lines there as a life stealer. Very hard to get that focus down. Narvi's three boys are just on another level compared yeah. to what OG have at this stage of the game. There's no doubt about it at all. Crystallize. Then the He's on the hunt with Crystallize. Nice bear. They, yeah, that's that's literally what they're going for here with the Shadow Blade. Broshan was just scouted by Roger too, and that's the third brush. Pressure shard will be available. It's not going to go for it. He's starting to get pinged out. That's where they want to take the fight. I I don't know how OG can take this fight versus them either. Into that exorcism, into such a heavily farmed life stealer. Radiant just at way too much of a deficit. <laughs> Secondary bear is scouted. They almost actually got the second bear. It's an easy right to know, but they, they cannot come out and contest this OG. And with the AC, the crystallized complete. And as you say, well, this is going to be with a refreshing guy. Is it going to go way of Dendi? It sure is. Double exorcism. How on earth do OG hold the base oh, against yeah, that sort of push? He gives it to General. Okay. Double Doom. Looking to be more important. I mean, that, that as well. Take out two heroes from the fight. Cool. OG can't even win a 5v5. How the hell will they win a 3v5 if he gets two dooms on anybody? Or on two targets? Feeling the pressure. So trying his best to split push these waves with the bear, but he's terrified. He knows they're hunting for it. Yep. Each and every time, Na'Vi are on the hunt for the bear. He can't lose this bear just yet either. 30 seconds till the next three summon, though. They're hunting for it. Look at Roger walking along the tree lines. He knows it's somewhere around here. Oh, he sees it. They want that bear. The ping's coming out. General closing the and gap. They, they found the bear. And that bear ain't going home tonight. Easy goal for Crystallize. The bear down. As you say, he does have the resummon up sooner. But again, the fact that he has to resummon him is that extra period once again where he's going to play so good. And not afford to lose this bear, especially if it happens at the same time Navi are pushing him. Do you as... see what's in Dendi's bottle as well? Oh. He's got the arcane. Oh, okay. oh my goodness. Navi, they are on the verge of doing this. There's no doubt about that. I do not know how OG swing this one around. It's, they're so far behind. 21k gold lead for Navi. More and more of a deficit. They're just engaging in. Dendi, no hesitation. S4, BKB comes out from S4. Will he have to get himself away from General and Crystallize? Turn towards 
structures. Fortification comes out. S4 comes in. Does manage to get the Primus split off. He looks towards General. Has he got the control to deal with him though? Doppelganger pop from Rezo as he tries to force General back up with the illusions. Quick sweep to the back of the fight from S4 to check out the back line. Static Storm's not going to catch anyone. He looks towards Dendi, but Dendi pops the BKB. He's taken the tier three. He's now looking towards the range racks. No tell. He's trying for the wrap. He's moving in with the bear. He will get the tier three tower. He is onto the racks as well. Seneco with the Winter's Curse holds back the bear. And they will be able to bring the bear down. Can he get the racks in time? He cannot. The bear is gone. Back down towards the bottom as well. Jarex has fallen. Crystallize is surrounded though. OG, they will claim the life stealer once. Can they do it a second time though? That is the question. The field is down. They look for the instant lockdown. They've got the savage roar. Masking into Crystallize. He's out of mana. Gets the rage up in time. Turns towards S4. S4's down. Double kill for Crystallize. Jump back in for General. He's trying to save Crystallize, but he may not be able to do so. All the silence. Rezo pops the man to start trying to retreat. They won't kill Crystallize a second time. They just have to get out of there themselves. And Cheese is out. Crystallize being given the cheddar by Jen Dendi's back up to full life. They're back in with another exorcism. Navi claiming these bottom racks. There's 40 seconds without the bear. No primal split available for S4. He is in the sidelines. And General's jumping in. He's trying his best to poke at them. No tails come back for the defense. They get the glitch back onto General, but General looks for the doom. We'll get it out to Jarek. Jarek's getting himself back to the fountain, but the ancient's exposed. Navi are moving in with the ghost. OG, there's no way they can stop this. It's going to be GG. It's going to be game over. OG's road to the major comes to an end as Navi. They come in with an incredible crushing force. What a victory for Navi. What a performance. We'll be seeing them in the major, of course, and now with this loss, we'll be seeing BP feeling very relieved that Navi put it together in this last game. But for OG, a very bitter end to a, an incredibly, incredibly painful day for them. They, they look so close, but this final game was an absolute nail in the coffin. There was just no hope in this one. Navi just playing on another level. This looked like the draft that I've seen Navi.